we are going to uh, see what we can do with uh, the advanced custom uh, front end fields forms um, what can be the problem if we are going to the uh, advanced uh, custom uh, front end fields and uh, we go into the forms then we see that uh, I have here a uh, form for adding a new post and that came from uh, the advanced custom fields so uh, now this is uh, the default uh, posts so this is uh, the title from the post that, that are, is the default this is the content so you choose here for the post and the first one was the title and then you have the content and I have chosen for the feature image and that is this one so it will be the feature image now that is uh, simple and uh, everybody can understand that but uh, then when you are going to uh, for example the um, text so this is uh, the address that I've uh, uh, taken from the advanced custom fields and uh, this is uh, the address and it's uh, a Google map and that is fine so you can uh, copy uh, the meta from um, the advanced custom fields and you paste it in here and with the map it works fine actually you must do it if you're using Google Maps otherwise it won't display on the form now when you go to a, uh, to a text for example then you must choose for the advanced custom fields so you search for the advanced custom fields and then you can select the one you want to embed and in this case it was uh, drives now that's uh, Dutch so uh, this a text and I've embedded and then everything works fine and you can also do that for uh, the email so advanced custom fields email and then you will be fine but then again when you go into a repeater field then it must be a repeater field so this is that for a repeater and it must be a repeater field then you fill in here the name of the repeater fields and then here uh, the uh, label the metas so that can be a little bit tricky and of course when it is a text you're using the, the text and if it's something else then you can choose whatever you want so uh, if you don't do it uh, this way then it won't work so um, with everything is you have to choose for uh, advanced cost fields but there are a few exceptions one of them is the repeater fields one of them is the gallery <coughs> and one of them is the Google Maps so um, if you don't do that then those fields won't appear on the form when you're publishing it and of course uh, you uh, can uh, customize the actions uh, reload current page so it's the form will stay on the page itself but you can also uh, redirected to a custom URL the submissions <coughs> the permissions so uh, all the login users you are almost all, always want to uh, allow all the logged in users an administrator and a subscriber but you can also uh, select by user and then you don't have to toggle this on in here but you can do it later on uh, when you're building the form on your uh, uh, front ends or, or, or in uh, in your team builder and the post you must search the post that you have made so the custom post type and of course you uh, must also 
be sure that uh, the user setting is good and when you're using terms then you have to use the terms condition that was it